Physicists had a major quest in the final decade of the 20th century to construct a theory of everything. A theory that covers everything in physics. Such a big dream. But as we've seen in the history of science, dreams can come true. Forces such as F equals MA mean a lot in physics. The famous polymath Isaac Newton was the first scientist to describe the gravitational force. The bad news, dear Newton, is that the only force that you know has already changed. A guy named Einstein came up and redefined gravitational force in his theory of relativity. There are four fundamental forces in the universe. The strong force, the weak force, the electromagnetic force, and the gravitational force. Gravity and the electromagnetic force have an infinite range, while the weak and strong forces are effective only at the level of subatomic particles. These forces are transmitted by means of so-called force carrier particles. Each force has its own carrier. Strong nuclear interactions are carried by particles called gluons. The weak force is carried by W plus minus Z bosons, and the electromagnetic force is carried by photons. The carrier, or messenger particle, of the gravitational force is called the graviton. The main idea underpinning the unified theory of particle interactions, or theory of everything, is basically to bring these four forces together. In 1964, Turkish physicist Feza Gürse and his colleague Luigi Radicati wrote a paper on the unitary spin independence of the strong interaction. In the paper, they proposed a new approach to this mathematical debate, introducing the group SU6 as an approximate symmetry of quarks at low energies. This paper represented, in fact, the relativistic generalization of Wigner's SU4 group. The paper had an immediate impact on the physics of elementary particles. However, in 1975, Gursay published another paper with his colleagues Ramon and Sikivi, in which they proposed the Grand Unified Theory, or, in other words, a theory of everything, based on the exceptional group E6. A major contribution of this paper was a step towards the construction of unified theories of elementary particle interactions. The standard model that defines the observed particle zoo and their interactions runs through these mathematical groups. And one of them, E8, has a natural place in string theory. String theory is a theory that describes all the particles we mentioned before as different vibrations of some fundamental strings. These strings are similar to guitar strings, but they're living in a subatomic world. They can be either open, like a hair, or closed, like a loop. They vibrate, and different vibration modes correspond to different particles in the particle zoo. Physicists today are dealing with new and different models. But the theory of everything was a milestone to find out ultimate theories. And Feza Gursay's contributions to this field of science were innovative. And that's why he was a world-renowned physicist.